Uh, I'm just, I haven't been in there in some 20 years. I, uh, on my way over here, someone told me that they didn't know of any other premiere here except for a Bond film. So feeling quite honored, and uh, sometimes the venue is uh, as magnificent as hopefully the movie is itself. You know, the, the task is nothing short of a joy. The chance to adapt Agatha Christie is just... It was uh, playful, it was fun. We knew that if we got it right, it would be something that could be uh, elegant and uh, entertaining. And that um, if we did it right, an incredible cast might come together and we couldn't have been even any luckier. Uh, we were thrilled with uh, the process of making the movie and with the finished product top to bottom. Uh, from day one when we just actually explored the train itself and then coming to, to a stage and seeing that it had been recreated on the stage uh, uh, made even quite more grand. Uh, it was filmed Gatt. beautifully, it's performed beautifully. Josh Gad is in it and he's hilarious <laughs> and very emotional as well. All the performances are really quite stunning, so we hope people enjoy it. Uh, the thing about a Christie adaptation is that it's an aspirational time, even though there's some very dark, sinister uh, history about to happen. In the 30s, people, you know, they dressed to travel. They, there was an elegance to every meal. And there's something about that. Uh, even just being on the set, you could feel transported for a few moments at a time that were in much less slovenly times, uh, and that there's still some aspiration in the smallest detail, down from to the to the cutlery, to the to the crystal glasses we're going to be drinking from. Uh, there's a moment I came on when I actually saw the menu that was going to be out for the lunch that was to be served, and it was such an elegantly printed menu of elegant food presented on elegant plates. Um, so there's there's something about Christie that just allows us to evoke those times.